Mathiran, a hill station discovered by Hugh Malley in 1850, is a favorite getaway for Mumbaiites even today. Mathiran is unique not only because it was developed by an Indian entrepreneur in the days of the British Raj, but also because it is one of the very few Indian hill stations to have its own little railway. The Nerar Mathiran railway line was a brainchild of Honorable Mr. Abdul Hussain, son of an eminent businessman from Bombay, Sir Adamji Peerphoy. Sole owner of the Mathiran Light Railway Company, Sir Adamji invested a staggering 16 lakh rupees in this venture, showing immense faith in his son's dream. Abdul Hussain was an architect by profession. In 1900, he camped at Nader and commenced the survey for laying the railway line. After four years of painstaking work, began the challenging task of construction. Overcoming numerous difficulties, the line was ready for regular use in 1907. 4060 T-type Orenstein and Kjopel steam engines were used on the line. These engines served for an astounding 75 years. In 1955, Diesel engines were introduced to meet the increasing traffic on the line along with the existing steam engines. Of the seven NDM1 class engines, one is still serving while others were replaced by the NDM6 class in the late 90s. Going up to Mathiran in this hill train is a pleasure indeed. The affair begins at Nerar, which lies at the foothills of Mathiran. The train with its relaxed pace climbs 20 kilometers with a maximum gradient of 1 in 20 to reach Mathiran. After 6 kilometers of sharp bends and steep climbs, the train briefly halts at Jummapatti. Another tranquil station on this line lies at about 12 kilometers from Nera. Nestled in a forest, this station came to be known as Water Pipe because it served as a refueling station in the days of steam. Besides this, these stations are also used as a point of crossing for the ascending and descending trains. The token system of signaling used here is unique to single line tracks. It ensures that no two trains run at the same time on the same section. Considering the mountainous terrain, narrow gauge seemed to be the obvious choice. A gauge of 610 mm or 2 feet was thus selected. This gauge substantially reduced the construction efforts and the civil engineering costs. Smaller gauge also meant tighter curves and smaller tunnels. At a height of about 2,500 feet, the train meanders through thick forests, making it a delightful sight for the travelers. Taking brave curves along sheer cliff edges, the little darling chucks on at a leisurely pace. The breathtaking sight of the valley is sure to linger on beyond the journey. These very sights, sounds and colours must have inspired Abdul Hussein to undertake this arduous task of building the legendary hill train. The legend goes that Sir Adamji used to watch the climbing train from Chalet, his bungalow in Mathiran. And as a mark of respect, the trains used to honk three times 
while passing below his residence. The torrential rains of 2005 washed away a better part of the Nerar Mathiran line. When it seemed that the train would never run again, came the news that the line was being rebuilt thanks to the commitment and relentless efforts of the Central Railways. To the delight of countless train lovers, the Nerar Mathiran line was reopened on 5th March 2007. It was indeed a pleasure to see the engine hauling the bogies through the mountains again. Since then, the popularity for this train grew continuously. However, to minimize the effects of torrential rains and the resulting landslides, it was decided by Central Railways to use high-tech and effective mechanism so as to ensure continuous running of this train. Crash barriers, gabion walls and boundary walls were installed to enhance the safety of passengers. Improved safety features like dual braking system in locos as well as in coaches and microprocessor based engine control system were installed. And from October 2017, the Queen of the Hills was ready to serve travelers with its heritage and pride. The magic of the journey that began on a hot April day in 1907 continues to entice the travellers even today. As the Mathiran Hill Train completes 110 years of glorious existence, we salute its indomitable spirit.